it's TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the London Olympia. Today I'm here with Historics Auctions and we're going to give you an exclusive preview of the auction that's about to take place and also what's going on here at the London Classic Car Show. So without further ado, I'm going to turn this camera around because I've not got much time. I'm filming it on Friday afternoon and the video is going to go out hopefully at 6pm so you'll know how this has gone by the time this lands and you're watching it. Let's crack on then. Now the main auction is going to take place here on the stage with Vicky Butler Henderson doing Banging the Gable as she does. We've got two Dinos here. I do apologise, the show has literally just opened and it's absolutely packed already. We've got two Dinos here and I'll leave the link to the online catalogue below so you can check those Dinos both out. We're just going to have a little brief overview of some of my favourite bits. This has caught my eye. I'm a Targa fan. As you'll all know, I'm also a whale tail fan, as you'll all know, but this is no ordinary Targa uh, like mine is. This is actually a 1985 Supersport Targa, one of only 14 right-hand drive Supersport Targas in the UK, and believed to be the only one in this white gold colour. Extraordinarily rare car, and you'll know that it's a Supersport Targa because you've got the turbo wide arches, and to all intents and purposes, turbo wing there as well, <coughs> except with the added benefit of the Targa roof. Unbelievable, and I absolutely adore that interior all completely original super super rare car we're gonna barge through then try not to tear down anyone we've got a 356 here this is estimated to be 340 to 370 thousand pounds at auction it's a right hand drive car and this is of course where the 911 and the 912 the gun it's got a four port engine in it weighs about the same as a packet of crisps and really truly an unbelievable example of a very very important and very cool Porsche literally where the brand pretty much started unbelievable opportunity to own something it's fully restored absolutely mint 356 that is stunning and one day when I earn my millions I'd love one of them in the garage also here we're sticking to a theme shock horror Porsches uh, we've got a 911e but this is no ordinary 911e this has got racing heritage racing provenance and actually has been uh, upgraded to a 911s specification engine so it's a 1970 car it is a left-hand drive it is of course a manual and that is a stunning piece of kit on Fuchs wheels uh, as always with historic auctions to make your life slightly easier when you're going through the catalog every lot has the number on the screen there you just punch it in to the catalog and it'll bring up all the details on the car because all of these cars have a million more details than I'm able to go into I'm obsessed with that absolutely obsessed let's take a look around on this side it is havoc here then we're gonna go around the rest of the show and have a little butchers we have got a DB5 there you'll actually recognize this DB5 I think it's the same one that I filmed a little while ago we have got this 993 very very nice aero kit on it wide arch absolutely unbelievable manual gearbox and that is lot number 119 we've got a 599 there 599s are looking better by the day i love this kind of flying buttress aero on there one of my favorite details on any modern ferrari but that is absolutely stunning that is lot number 174 for all the details on that we are going to go along away from the crowds lot number 140 997 carrera 4s manual gearbox that is a belter for the summer very nice and the lobster claw turbo alloys huge fan of those pagoda adore that any dictators watching you've got a three door there that's 176 lot number 176 another pagoda here in my favorite colorway silver with a red interior left hand drive lovely and that is a manual if you want a better look at all these cars we actually went live today with Historic Auctions on YouTube doing a full roundup preview with Vicky Butler Henderson and Matthew Pretty. So that video is now live on the channel, but there are loads of Porsches to get yourself in the mix with here at London Olympia. You're more than welcome to come and check these cars out uh, on Saturday morning by the time this goes live. This is actually a Targa Auto Box. I'm actually looking at the moment at 40993 for Anthe with an auto box so I might have a flutter on that we're fancying doing a project car together and I'd love to see her in a 993 bit of kind of Kendall Jenner vibes um, but that kind of ruins it actually saying that we've got a 911 S I think here yes it is a 911 S well done that man 
another pagoda. So there's three pagodas I've counted so far. So if you're in the market for a pagoda, keep your eyes peeled to the auction. You've got to register before you bid. You can't just go on there in the morning and bid. A 190 SL there as well. I think they are absolutely stunning. That's obviously pretty much the drop top variant of the 300 SL, which is now millions. I do have a wild card car that I am super, super interested in, and I'd love to see how it went on the channel. I've always adored these. It's just complete chaos. You're looking at basically an Evo on stilts. I would absolutely love one of these. Um, I don't know what it would do for the channel. I know what it would do for my happiness. It would probably increase it dramatically. Um, but this is an automatic car, and that is up for auction. They are not super cheap, but they're not that bad considering what a clean Evo is these days. But that is complete havoc. That around the Cotswolds is just an utter, utter joke. So yes, I would love a flutter on one of these at some point. Keep your eyes peeled with that. That's a right-hand drive car and is an automatic as well. And I would probably go for the automatic to be fair. I know obviously a true purist would probably go for a manual, but I'd actually probably go for the auto on one of these because I'm getting a little bit sick of manual cars. That then is Historic Auctions and just a small snapshot of what they've got here. We've got over 100 cars, so I'll leave the link to the online catalogue below. But for now, let's have a little waffle around the show and see what there is. I'm going to turn the camera around and come with me and see what else there is here. We've got the NSX Owners Club here. Some really, really rare pieces of kit. NSXs are just so cool. I think I've been influenced by uh, Travis Scott's franchise video uh, where they're all honking around in uh, pastel colored uh, Japanese cars, NSXs and all the like, but I think they're very, very cool and I'd absolutely love an NSX. Finding a clean manual one of these is a nightmare. That, I think that's the center edition there. I don't know, I'm actually pretty ignorant on this topic. Shock, Fiat 500's here. We've got lots of owners clubs here. Really, really cool. Seeing some passionate people bringing out their pride and joys. Shout out to everyone that's brought their car out to come and enjoy with the masses. There's no ropes around any of the cars. You can just sniff around them. Um, so yeah, shout out to the owners. We've got some American bits here. Here we've got a very, very special car. And funnily enough, I've actually, I think I've been in two of these actually. Um, I went in one around the rally stage at Goodwood Festival of Speed and actually one of them at Matt Johnson Prestige up north uh, near Cumbria, bizarrely. This is an MG 64R, I believe, or 84R. But they're absolutely mental. They're about a quarter of a million quid upwards. Really, really, really fun car to be in. I mean, yeah, I sat in one of those going around the Goodwood Rally stage. I've never laughed so much in my life. They are absolutely fantastic. I adore that. Back when Rally was unbelievably cool. Not that it isn't now, but I think we'll all agree that was a different era. Anyway, onwards. It's absolutely rammed. It's only just opened. My viewers will recognize this car. This is Mr. Seen Through Glasses. 360, very nice. I actually don't think I've seen this car in the flesh before. Very cool with 360 Stradali bucket seat. Very, very cool, very cool. I've always been a bit unsure on the 360, uh, but there's just something about this one that's really, really nice. Really nice, I do like that. Mr. 888 MF used to have a blue challenge Stradali. I, I think I adore the 430, so I always look at this that I'm not 100% on it, but there's a bit of F50 about it, and I, yeah, I don't know. Sam, you're, you're converting me on 360s. You're influencing me, should we say. Uh, this is here on a stand at the Classic Car Show, and one of my favorite exhibits is this 911 exhibit. We've got a whole way along from the 901. Oh, we've got Richard Mills on the side of the car. That is chaos. I wonder if you get a Richard Mill with it. So, you've got 901, you've got G-Series, the 964. This is actually David at the Classic Car Company uh, that he looks after a number of my cars. Great guy. He's actually been tasked with finding all these cars. So I think this is David's personal car. We've got the 993. It's basically all generations of the 911 all together in one place. I bet he had fun trying to source these. 996 GT3, 997 GT3 Gen 1. That is a stonking, stonking car. For around 80 grand, you cannot do better. And they are going to be such good news. Buy one of those. 80 grand, spend on a sports car. Don't buy a GT4, buy one of them. You heard it here first. 991.2 Carrera T, adore those, fantastic. And then we've got a 992. I think that's a GTS in uh, Midnight Blue, I believe. Anywho. We've got the Classic Car Company right here next door, and they've brought out the big guns. We've got a Mura here, lovely, lovely 
ridiculous. And there's no kind of real roping around it. Everyone's getting up nice and close with the cars, but being very respectful. It's a Mira SV of all things. So we've got millions of pounds worth of Mira sat there. And that's one of the cars they look after at the classic car company. We've got their little uh, bread van there, which is unbelievable. I often see David pottering around in this, causing havoc. And we've got this 993 Turbo. This is actually for sale. A friend of mine owns this, and it's actually a very, very reasonable price. I do, do, do very much like that. And if I wasn't at low tide with um, an undisclosed figure of money going out to various sources this month, I would actually buy that. I genuinely would buy that because I know the owner of this car and I would have it. That is absolutely stunning. So if you want that, get in touch with David at the Classic Car Company. Lovely. Love them. They look so good and they're going to be great news. They're going to be a quarter of a million quid. No problem. So much rare stuff here. We have got a 73 BMW 3 litre CSL. Obviously pillarless here. And very rare because it's got a city pack. Very, very rare car. One of 500 cars. Look at those wheel arches. So nice. That is mega. Again, if I make my millions, I'll have one of these. I adore them. Absolutely adore them. Now, you don't see one of these every day. There's a Lancia 037 Evo 2. That is absolutely nuts. All the history files with it. I don't think this is for sale. Even if it was, I think it would exclude 99.9% .9 of the population because that would not be cheap at all. That is so cool. This place is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Coming on through, another Porsche stock. Uh, we do have a Ford GT there. Uh, not 100% sure that's a classic car. However, very nice to see it. And obviously, reincarnation of a classic, an icon for Ford. Got a 992 Turbo S there, uh, a G Wagon in the middle of it, and a Rolls Royce Dawn. So, uh, and a brand new Bentley as well, of all things. Not strictly classics, but very, very nice to see them. They've also brought an F12 and another 997 GT3. Look how good that looks. That is a Gen 2 car, and you can tell it's a Gen 2 because the lights are set A, um, slightly different inside, and B, they've got this little kind of slopes. They mean them kind of a little bit more slanty, but that is absolutely banging. That is exactly um, the same version as my car, just without the RS addition to it. But again, they are super, super good news. Anyone's owned a 997 GT3 will testify that they're unbelievable. That is with only 8,000 miles on the clock, that is 132,000 pounds. Only 8K miles. Only three owners. It's good. It's good goods. Also here then, I'm being taunted, 458 Speciale. That is a car that is very definitely on my to-do list as well. As you've probably realized, there is a big list of cars that I want. 430 Scud. Really, really love them, but it's not something I really actually ever want to add to my collection, but they are absolutely stunning. F12 TDF. Absolutely lovely. For what it's worth, I don't think it's worth the premium over and above the standard F12, but the sort of person making the decision on that really doesn't care about the premium, so unbelievable piece of kit. A 599 GTO, adore them. Drove one at Octane not long ago. Very cool guys for letting me do that. We've got a Toyota MR2 Mark 1 there as well. Really cool to see that in the mix with some big gun supercars. We've got a Challenge Stradale, and we've got an R34 Nissan Skyline GTR. These are absolutely bonkers money now. Absolutely bonkers. I should have bought one of these when they're cheap. Although, everyone's saying that. I've also got a Supra there as well. Really cool to see this sort of stuff alongside your greatest hit from Italy. Right, something I've just chopped in on a different camera here. I just walked past it. This then, you may be forgiven for thinking this is a Bugatti Veyron. It's actually not. This is it's based on the underpinnings of an Audi R8 V8 engine. But actually, it is £240,000, not two million. It does look pretty good. Let me know what you think of that. Would you spend £240,000 on a replica Bugatti very one. It does look cash to be fair. You can see just a little glimpse of the interior in there. Let me know what you think of that. Look at the silhouette as well. That's actually really, really good. Something else I do want to throw in just before I go, and I'm not joking when I say this, I know I say this a lot, but if I wasn't at low tide, 
I would bid on this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Phantom Coupe. So it's a three-door, it's literally a three-door Phantom. It is absolutely ridiculous. Think of it as an enormous Wraith. That is the most boring thing I've ever seen. White wall tires, right-hand drive, and obviously a load of space in the back. It just, there is no need for it to be a three-door, and obviously you've got that satin brushed aluminium bonnet as well. That is unbelievable and rare as hen's teeth, these things. Starlight headliner, that is wonderful. I'm going to sign out then, head home, get this edited, get it out. But if you want to come see any of these cars, then make sure you head to the London Classic Car Show. And of course, the historic's over my shoulder here. With loads more other bits that I didn't even talk about. Make sure you register to bid. Check out the online catalogue. The link is in the pinned comment and also in the description. So go and check that out. And the live auction will be on Saturday. So the point in which this video goes out, it's going to be Friday evening. But the live auction will be on Saturday, okay? So make sure you get involved and register to bid before you try and bid, because there's a little bit to do, and you don't want to be scrabbling around whilst the auction's live, trying to register in a hurry. For now, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you're following Historics on YouTube as well. They've got an amazing channel, far better produced than the stuff I put out. And we've also got a podcast, which we filmed live today as well with Vicky Butler Henderson. We got into a little tussle about Porsches. Shock horror. For now, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.